It's a story you first saw here on Newsday back in June. A house and property in Bay Terrace's neighborhood piled high with trash. Neighbors complained of the stench of urine and feces, saying the smell is unbearable on hot days. But now, some results. A cleanup effort got underway today. And Newsday's Heather Hope spoke with a still defiant man who lives there. And here is that progress. Close to five truckloads of debris have been removed from that home. Neighbors say they've been dealing with it for over 10 years. The city attorney got involved in 2018, and neighbors contacted the city's nuisance and abatement team to finally get some results. Not taking the moving of his stuff easily. Hey, that's for that. That's for the animal. Hey. That's for the animal. Okay. The resident of this home on Mesa Hills Court got combative with City of San Diego crews moving truckloads of trash and his belongings off the property. I don't care. You need to. You can't. Be here. News 8 was here in June after neighbors' complaints of foul smells of human waste and trash piled high outside the Bay Terrace's home. Those living nearby say they are fed up. It's kind of disrespectful to everybody else to, to maintain that kind of an environment at the same time. Stepping in, the San Diego City Attorney, Mara Elliott, released this statement regarding the cleanup of the Mesa Hills Court property. While our office set up this process in motion, it is now the court that oversees the receiver it appointed to abate the public nuisance. The court receiver is Richardson Griswold of Griswold Law, who says this five truck load cleanup costs about $24,000. Roswald says it could take two months to clean and inspect the property to get it up to state health code. Here is the resident of the home in his own words. I give them my phone number. They don't tell me they're coming. Oh, they say, oh, you, we inform you on the letter. And I said, I don't read the letter. He says he's a Coast Guard veteran. His house is paid for and in his sister's name, and he feels ambushed by the cleanup crew. You can ask the neighbors, all those nosy neighbors. I'm by myself. I'm just doing my own thing. I'm not bothering nobody. Longtime neighbors want the resident to get help and are grateful the cleanup process has finally begun. Obviously, we're not trying to steal anybody's trash, right? But we've got to think about property value in the neighborhood, too. We're happy to see that, um, you know, that things are moving along finally. It's, it's been a long road. So how was someone able to live inside a home with no running water for two years? The city says they have issued notices but got no compliance. This whole process of cleaning up and inspection could take close to two months. Heather Hope, News 8.